Okay, so we have a cube here that has a surface area of 150 square centimeters. And we have to determine what is the length of each edge of this cube. Now, one thing that we know about any cube is that it is composed of six congruent squares. So if the entire surface area of this figure is 150 square centimeters, we can take that total surface area and divide it equally amongst these six sides because each side is going to be equal to each other. So if we take 150 and divide it by six, we could figure that each side must have an area of 25 square centimeters. So that means that this surface is 25 square centimeters, this surface is 25 square centimeters, as well as this surface, and we can only see three of the sides from this viewpoint, but we should understand that the other three sides that are not in view also have an area of 25 square units. Well, let's just look at one side of our cube. If the area of this side right here is 25, and we know that each edge of a cube is identical, then this length right here must be identical to this length here. So all we really have to do is take the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. So this edge must be 5, and this edge must be 5, which answers the question that is being asked. What is the length of each edge of this cube? So the length of each edge of our cube is 5 centimeters. All right, let's try another example. This cube has a surface area of 486 square centimeters. So first we take that total surface area and divide it equally by 6. And 6 goes into 48 8 times and 6 goes into 6 once. So we know that the area of each surface of this cube is 81 square centimeters. Now what we can do is figure out what times what would produce 81 and that what would be 9 centimeters. So we have quickly determined that each edge of this cube must be 9 centimeters because 9 times 9 is 81 and then we would take that 81 and multiply it by 6 for a total surface area of 486 square centimeters.